Oh, daddy. One of the common questions I find online is, are Minecraft servers safe for young kids? My experience is yes, but you need to know what you're looking for. So I've put together my top 10 tips for finding the best Minecraft server for young kids. Number one, they must claim to be kid safe or family friendly. If they don't advertise either of these, move on. Number two, whitelisting. If they don't whitelist, then anybody can log in and play on the server without any sort of screening. Number three, child-friendly policies. Read the policies, and if they don't vibe with you, move on. Number four, dedicated moderators. It's nice knowing that if a kid gets stuck or needs help, there's somebody there to help them. Number five, chat filters. It's very important that they filter out bad language, and I recommend avoiding voice chat. Number six, it's great if they can offer creative, peaceful, and survivor worlds for these kids to play in. Number seven, mini games and cool builds. Sometimes these kids can get bored and it's nice if they can go play other little games within the game and also be inspired by really beautiful builds. Number eight, grief protection. It's nice knowing that when your kid builds something, other players don't accidentally destroy it. Number nine, no advertising or spamming for obvious reasons. Number 10, they must sanction or ban players that abuse these rules. Let's go look at the Minecraft website. Minecraft.net is a great resource for everything Minecraft. They also have Minecraft Dungeons, Minecraft Earth, and Minecraft Education. In these tutorial videos, we're going to be exploring the original Minecraft Java edition. In our next video, we're going to be exploring Blocklandia. This server caught my eye last year, so my kid and I joined it, and I'd like to share our experiences with you. See you in the next video.